Hi, this is Nick Horrocks. Welcome to Incyber Digital Media's Final Cut Pro Tutorials. This is the second part in a three-part series on colour correction, and in this one we'll be looking at isolating a colour using the limit effect tools in Colour Corrector 3-Way. If we look down here in the Colour Corrector window, there's a little drop-down triangle. Click that and you'll see some more controls. Um, now these control the selected colour, the saturation and the luma. Luma is the sort of brightness um, in very simple terms. Uh, the saturation is, is the amount of colour in simple terms. And uh, what we'll do it, with this image, it's a bit too much like a nice day, so I think what we'll do is grey out that sky a bit. Now we could drop the whole lot down. Um, let's just double click that and put the uh, filter on it. Um, what we could do if we wanted is just desaturate the whole thing slightly. Um, but in fact what I want to do, I want to keep this nice sunny feel down here, but I want to grey out the sky. So what we do is we select the blue with this little pipette tool here, select that, and we'll turn off our saturation and luma, and then we'll desaturate that area. So what you see there, the sky has gone grey, it's a bit rough around the edges at the moment, so what we can do, we can play with the edge thin filter, which as you can see that makes it much rougher particularly here, you can see the pixels. Um, we'll take that back to the middle and we'll use the softening slider combined with the edge thin slider until we get something we're happy with. We can make that look a bit darker by pulling down the blacks, make it even more dramatic. So there we are. From that to that. Okay. Still using the limit effect tools on this clip. Here's a shot of the Houses of Parliament in London. Um, the shot's nicely colour balanced and everything. Well, I want to make the sky bluer. So using the same tools in a different way, um, we'll just pop the colour corrector on, limit effect, we select our area, so one of the mid blues down here, turn saturation off, turn luma off, and instead of dropping the saturation out, we'll go the other way. And again, very rough around the edges at the moment, so we'll just play with these sliders here. And there we are, from that to that. The fourth clip is a um, great shot of a London bus. These shots, all, all of these shots, by the way, come from LondonStockFootage.com, which is a library of shots of London, mostly in high def. So, can anyone guess what I'm going to do with this one? Drop the colour corrector filter on. And what we'll do now, using our limit effect tools, we will select the red, unclick saturation and luma because we don't want to affect those. Drop saturation out. Now in this one what I want to do is use this invert button to get that effect which you might have seen somewhere before. So again using the softening slider and the edge thin you can you can adjust those until you're happy with them. Let's just render that. Yeah, that's rendered so red bus red bus on a black and white London. Now those eagle-eyed 
amongst you may have noticed and there are a couple of red things in that shot which which spoil the effect there's this little thing down here which looks like a phone box and further along the shot we've got a crane at the top now we can simply get rid of those by using a mask or even more simple we're going to duplicate the shot and what we'll do here we'll open that up and we'll crop that so we'll crop the bottom you see the the crop line here move up as I drag this up turn this layer off just for a second and what we'll use here on this one for our isolated color is black so if we select that you notice that the red disappeared if I command Z that and you can have a look that red comes back into the image so that's that turn that back on go back what we need to do is just let's just get rid of this audio here so it's not necessary duplicate the shot again open it up and in this case we're going to crop the uh, the top so the bottom wants to be down at zero and we'll crop the top so you look at that line going down where's that uh, You can see the the red phone box here, and I'll just cover it over with that. And then all we need to do is just render that again. Uh, so that's rendered. A little bit of music on there as well. So there you have it. You recognize that effect from films like um, Schindler's List and Pleasantville and Sin City to, to a degree as well. One last thing to say about this effect, the item you want to isolate has to be the only thing of, of that particular color in the shot. Obviously, you know, the telephone box and the crane weren't a problem, but anything more substantial in the shot and you'd run into trouble. So um, try and use this effect on shots that have one you know one item that you can pick out that you can isolate the color of so thanks for watching um, I hope you found that useful um, in my next tutorial I'll be looking at matching two shots using the match hue tool so thanks again and see you soon hopefully